Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to add the refresh token functionality in all the remaining files. So in the previous video, I have shown you that uh, how you can update the refresh token functionality in the workspace files. But in this video, I'm going to update it in other files that are remaining, but I'm not going to update them here in the user directory and in the profile directory. Why? Because they are only relevant to the admin user, not to the member user. But if I show you the member directory inside it, I will update the refresh token functionality and I will also update some of the other code that I missed it all right so if I show you in any of the uh, code as you can see this is a sign up this is only relevant to the admin user when the user will sign up all right so if I member want to sign up then uh, here is the way in which I have uh, created these files here all right so this is these are the files uh, that are relevant to the profile only uh, of the admin profile all right so as you can see that is the uh, admin user profiles so they are only relevant to the admin so I'm not going to update them. So let's just close from here. And uh, what I need to do, I will just close it here also. So I will update just one file from this profile and that is add.go file. Why? Because these are the information that I uh, that I wrote in my previous previous videos, but I didn't uh, remove them. Why? Because they are not use, uh, used it here. All right. So I don't need them. So that's the reason that I'm going to remove them. And after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is to close this info uh, profile and after that let's go to the find.go file so inside this find.go file this is basically uh, present in the mysql database file so what i will do i will uh, update this find member uh, functionality because as you can see from the member when the uh, user will give the email address it will only fetch the email address of that member so i'm not going to just fetch the email address of the member instead i also want to fetch the active status that whether the member is active or not all right so i'm also going to update it like uh, find the active uh, status and find the email address of the member by giving this email address and after that uh, let's uh, remove this email address and write variable uc uh, credentials uh, sorry user credentials this user credentials is the basically structure I created in my previous video as you can see here that this is the user credential inside it this is the email address password status etc so I'm going to use the status and the email address from the user credentials so let's uh, scroll down and now let's write uc dot email all right sorry I uc dot email and similarly I will write uc dot status so it will fetch the email address and the status from the members uh, table when the uh, when the particular email address will be given to it so now let's update the returning value because uh, let's write a string and then boolean so there will be two returning values so the first thing is string so i will keep uh, keep it empty in the uh, false statement and i will call the uh, what you can say the status the is active status in the true section all right so when the user when the uh, member is found then it will not just give me the boolean value instead it will also return the status that hey your account or the member account is verified all right so let's uh, save this and now as you can see that the set member.go file is giving me an error because it is only mm, uh, there is only one uh, variable called here that is the boolean uh, variable so i'm going to use the what you can say the string variable also but uh, i will keep it empty because i'm not going to use it here and now let's go to the uh, copy this uh, um, values first uh, and after that let's paste down here because i also need to use it here so let's uh, remove this member found this is a boolean value and uh, let's write the uh, member what you can say member status because i'm going to use the member status in the check.go file uh, and i used the uh, boolean value in the set member.go file all right so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind and let's write the check email like this so based on this email address it will find the member and it will give me the status that hey whether the user uh, or the member is uh, verified or not all right so i will give the uh, account like if member status is equal to uh, what you can say zero it means that if it is not verified and then what it will do it will uh, give this f statement like this if the member 
is uh, if the member status is equal to zero means if the member is not verified then in that case it will send the verification code to the member that hey you need to verify it otherwise let's say if the member is verified all right then what it will do it will print line another statement that uh, uh, like errors and this is for the errors sorry errors new uh, you your account is already verified like this all right so this is how it will work if the member is not verified then it will send the verification code to the member but if the member is already verified then it will give me this message all right so i hope you understood so now let's take a look at the memdeps.go files that will basically show the departments of a member that how many departments uh, departments that are present in the member section that you can choose it all right so let's uh, mm, write what you can say and because i'm going to use the member uh, credentials also in it as you can see that only the admin credentials are present so i'm also going to use the member credentials for it so what i will do i will copy the login token and rename it by using the member login token like this member login token and similarly i will write member uh, member login token and now it is not used so I'm going to use it and how I can do use it so I will simply copy this if statement and I will uh, put another brackets now let's write the bracket inside this bracket I will paste the uh, statement like the if statement and instead of writing user I will write member similarly I will write the member login token this time all right so now this is the member login token this is the refresh token for the member so if none uh, if one of them is working then in that case it will give me the uh, these uh, departments because the these departments are not only present for the admin user they are only uh, they are also present for the member all right so if the user is logged in or if the member is logged in then in the uh, both of the cases these things will be shown to it all right shown to him so let's write the member could uh, copy the, these things and after copying it let's go to the mem roles and let's paste it down here like this so now let's remove this error because uh, if statement i'm not going to use it so the similar process will be repeated here because it will also check that whether the member is logged in or the user is logged in in both of the cases it will show me the roles of the member uh, or what you can say uh, these these should not be updated i don't think so uh, member departments All right. so i need to change the message of them i think so because they are not relevant to the admin i they are also relevant to the member so uh, in this case i will just update the uh, our message like uh, uh, show the departments of a member and a user uh, and the admin and the admin like this so these are just the uh, what you can say the roles or the departments that will be shown for both of the user and the member and the admin so i will update it like this also and the admin also like this so i hope it will it will work you are under, you understood so now let's save them one by one after saving them i will check it also that whether they are working or not so let's write go install now what i need to do i will write the set member is working fine let's go check because i also need to find check the member that whether the member is uh, inserted or not so let's write um, mysql use procedure select from members as you can see that only one member is present here so if i want to add another member then i need to give the email address of that member so what i will do uh, let me just write what you can say pro ctl status as you can see that kaifa is logged in so what i will do i will write uh, what you can say pro ctl logout first of all like this once it is logout sorry let's check the status of it user is logged out pro ctl login email address means tree now i'm logged in all right so proceed here status means is logged in so now 
after logging in what i will do i will write procl invite mem all right so this is the invite mem so let's write the email address of that uh, pre email what you can say member so this email address was, uh, was logged in previously but the problem was that the credentials of that email or member was not present so that although it was logged in so but i logged out after that the credentials should be present here so that's the reason that i'm going to invite it again so yeah so now it will take me some time let's go to the chrome and now let's uh, open the browser okay, like this sorry this is take for stack overflow account Mm, you can say this is the gmail address so yeah you can see that uh, i'm um, it has been invited from veins so now uh, now what i will do i will write check uh, check or let's write help because i have forgotten about the command so check email address so i will write pro ctl check but before this i need to log out in order to check yeah right so let's write log out now if i write check and then give the email address then after that it will check it for me i don't need to give the password here so check your account is already verified why because i already uh, what you can say verified my account and maybe the status uh, the data is present in the my find member dot go file so let me just take it out finally i found the error and the error was here as you can see here that this is the member status that it is checking that whether the member is verified or not so basically the member credentials are not even present in the mysql database so how it will uh, check that whether the member is verified or not so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind as you can see here that it is waiting for the verification although the, it uh, it has not entered the verification yet so how it will check that whether the member is verified or not so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind and uh, basically i will change the name of this instead of writing member status status i will write member checking so it will check that whether the is active data is present from the start uh, in the mysql database or not all right so it will check that whether the is active data from here as you can see that whether it is present or not if it is present then what it will do uh, then it will run this otherwise it will not so let's write member checking like this so instead of writing what you can say uh I'm making it equal to the uh, string value i will write it like this so if the is active table is present as you can see here that this the is active if this is present uh, from the start then it will uh, then what it will do it will give me this message that hey uh, uh, your account is already verified the, uh, you don't need to do uh, you don't need to verify it i just uh, changed the name uh, print statement but the thing that i'm going to uh, show you that basically it will just check that whether the is active data is present or not if it is present then it will give me this message if it is not present then it will check that hey the, your um, is active data is not present from the beginning so how you can verify it so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind and now let's uh, save this and go to the mysql database uh, sorry to the another tab and this time it will work and basically the updating of the um, verification will be happening here as you can see here in the set member.go file inside this update member the verification of the member will be happening all right not inside this check.go file all right so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind so now this time if i write go install uh, let's clear this and now let's run the command as you can see that this time it is asking for the verification code so let's copy this verification code paste it down here now you can see that your account is successfully verified so if i show you again as you can see that now this e uh, data is present of the member but now the account is not verified because if you want to update the account or if you want to uh, verify an account you need to set the member credentials it will not be checked or it will not be verified inside this check.go file so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind 
because only the data is going to be inserted inside the check member.go file it will not be updated so if i want to update it i have to uh, use the uh, what you can set member.go file functionality all right so um, but now if i show you um, what you can say check uh, if i want to execute this command again you will see that your account is already verified it is not verified but it is only giving me the message that hey your is active data is present in it you can see that is active data is basically present in it so this is the thing but i will work on this in the upcoming video and i will move this uh, to show you that whether it is uh, work it will work in the set member would go file but this is the thing that you need to keep in mind that only by uh, presence only by the presence of is active statement it will give me the message that hey your account is already verified so yeah clear this and now let's go to the uh, mem devs so let's write pro uh, what you can say uh, pro ctl mm, mem devs mem devs first login to show the departments of a member so let's write pro ctl whether i'm logged in or not so now you can see that the user is logged out so i need to log in as a member so let's write pro ctl login and the email address is this password is this pro ctl login password so i need to check that whether it is right or wrong so i need to first of all set up the credentials in order to log in so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind set member because the password is not given so how the member will log in so yeah uh, this is sometimes make me uh, made co made complicated so yeah uh, let's write email address password 1122 and account name what you can say kaifa set mem i need to write set mem like this instead of writing set member you member credentials are successfully updated if i check the status of it you can see that now the kaifa is logged in so i'm logged in by using the set member so this time if i go to the mysql database you will see that the kaifa is also verified by updating or setting the member credentials so after that i can uh, show the departments of the member this time all right so sir pro ctl mem depths you can see that i can uh, get the departments and i can also get the uh, rules of the member if i want to show you like this mem rules you can see that i can also get the rules of the member so this is how it will work but i will work on this functionality uh, to move this uh, what you can say uh, from the check member to the set member so so that it will become easy for you to understand all right so from now what i will do i will just uh, write git add because it is now fine git commit uh, what you can say word on the refresh refresh token in the remaining files remaining files git push origin master Let's go to the yeah, yeah say pro CTL. So now as you can see 65 commits worked on the refresh token in the remaining files. So I hope you understood and like this. So if you liked it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.